All right, Isaac, now we're in the room that houses our liquid nitrogen freezer. So before we got this piece of equipment in, it would take us hours, Dates. mostly overnight, to, yeah. to, to freeze anything. You know, it would be something that would be done one day, mm -hmm. hit a freezer, sit there to the next day, get packaged. What did this do for us? And explain to the folks sure. what this is. So this is a liquid nitrogen blast freezer. And we brought it in for a multitude of reasons. But the most important thing for us was quality of the product. So while using this, uh, we're able to freeze our products incredibly fast. This uh, chamber will go down to negative 125 degrees Fahrenheit while in operation. And in freezing something very fast with very cold temperatures, uh, the, the benefit is that you don't have moisture evaporation on your food product. And in stopping that, or at least mitigating it to an extreme extent, uh, you get a better tasting food, a better quality frozen food because you don't have water crystals that form on the outside of the product like you would get if you were to throw something in your freezer at home. If it was unwrapped and it would, uh, uh, you know, slowly freeze. Um, it, the, the water is escaping out of your food product and then crystallizing on the outside. So a freezer burn. Freezer burn, exactly. Oh, okay. right. So uh, through mitigating freezer burn, you're going to have a better quality product when uh, you open up a Primal Eats frozen package. Um, the other reason we brought the liquid nitrogen blast freezer in was we can freeze a lot of stuff fast. Yeah. Like you mentioned when you opened, uh, uh, it, sometimes it would take us hours or days to freeze our products down. Right. And that is a huge bottleneck, especially in manufacturing. Mm -hmm. So in bringing this in, we can freeze, say, a thousand pounds of ground meat product, not over the course of hours, but over the course of minutes. Right. And that's a repeatable process that you could do throughout the day. So you can really have a lot of throughput from manufacturing running through this blast freezer. And uh, so I guess just to recap, uh, quality product due to, you know, being able to preserve the product's integrity as intended, mm -hmm. and then mass volume. That's why we brought in the blast freezer.